So the one thing about lucid dreaming that I find frustrating but also is useful to know is that if you stop focusing on it, if you stop trying to do it, it, it goes away pretty much. And so this is something that's happened to me recently. So long story short, I've been dealing with a health problem, like a long, longer term thing, about a year or so. And it's really been a struggle with like physical, yes, but also emotional and mental health. And during that time, what I noticed is that I haven't really been focusing on lucid dreaming. And so as a result, I've had very few lucid dreams. And this made me realize a quite useful lesson, quite interesting thing is that just like in a lucid dream, what you focus on in dream, right, is what you will experience more of. And anything you're not focusing on in the dream will tend to dissolve and kind of vanish away, right? And by the way, it's like a thousand degrees in here. So uh, the downsides of British summer. Our houses are not designed to, to keep things cool. They're designed to keep the heat in. Anyway, so what was I saying? Exactly. So when you focus on something in a dream, everything else dissolves away. It's kind of the same thing in, in uh, waking life. What you focus on is what you get more of. So, but, but then the things you're not focusing on generally tend to kind of dissolve and go away. And so that's exactly what's happened with me. As I've been focusing on health and other things, I have not been focusing on lucid dreaming. I've not been doing, you know, the usual stuff, the reality checks, the writing dreams down, the, all of the stuff that I say that you should do every day. I just haven't been, haven't been in the mental space where I can do it consistently. And so as a result, I've stopped lucid dreaming or I've been having way less lucid dreams. And so it's really interesting how this works, you know, what you focus on, and not just in a dream, but like in, in waking life as well, you either use it or lose it. You know, if you don't use a muscle, it will uh, shrink, get smaller, become weaker, and eventually it won't be there. Or, well, no, the muscle will still be there, but it won't be as, it won't be as strong or big. So um, what I propose, what I propose to you is that we kind of make an agreement now we both, me and you, try and focus more on lucid dreaming and on remembering dreams, dream recall, as I, you know, start to come out of this health struggle that I've been dealing with, I will now also be focusing more on lucid dreaming. I'll be also going back to my habits and my routines, writing dreams down, uh, you know, doing reality checks, making videos, because, you know, making videos is also, as much as it, I like to think it helps you, it also helps me. You know, they say one of the best ways to solidify what you learn and, and what you know is to teach it, to share it with others, because then it forces you to explain it. And in order to explain something, you have to understand it. So it forces you to understand it better. So let's do this. I'll continue making more videos. And we will both, you and I, will both commit more to doing more reality checks, or at least consistent, consistently writing dreams down every morning and consistently trying to be present. And I think this will be really good. You know, I'm excited to see what my dreams will actually show me, you know. And what I find amazing is just how quickly, unless you're a natural uh, dream recaller, dream remem rememberer, <laughs> it's not even a word, uh, you, t what I tend to find is that if you stop writing your dreams down and stop trying to remember them, pretty quickly, you just don't remember them. And, but the opposite is also true. Like when I, back in the day, especially when I was um, maybe 18, 20, 22, I was writing my dreams down religiously every single morning. And I would write pages and pages and pages, like literally like five, 10 pages every morning of, of dreams, you know? And it, it was almost like the more you do it, the more, the more you remember and the more detail you remember. And yeah, the opposite is true. Obviously, the less you do it, the less detail you remember until eventually you reach a point where you're not remembering any. And I think this is the part, this is the stage that most people are at, is that they haven't break they haven't broken through to the place where they're actually able to remember dreams, and so as a result, they're just stuck in this kind of like limbo. They're stuck in this limbo where they want to remember dreams, but because they haven't been remembering dreams, they haven't built up this like self reinforcing cycle. And it was only really in the last year that I've actually myself experienced this because, you know, before then I was always very good at remembering dreams. I would remember them every morning and as a result, I would write them down. 
which would then trigger me in in uh, the next morning to remember more dreams and so on. It just became a self-fulfilling prophecy. It just became like a positive spiral, right? And it's only really with these health challenges that I've that I've stopped doing that that I've seen ah so okay I understand more now where a lot of people a lot of you maybe are struggling is that you need to break through and so we're going to do it together right I'm I need to build a skill back again and maybe some of you do maybe not I don't know leave a comment telling me whether you need help with this at, at all even but I thought it could be useful to kind of do it together so I will try and remind you in these videos Firstly, I'll try and make more videos, ideally every day, um, especially now that I'm not going to be editing them or making thumbnails or doing any of that very time consuming stuff that doesn't really add a lot. And yeah, that's another story. So I'll be able to make more videos and then in the videos I can give you little reminders about, you know, did you write dreams down this morning? Maybe I can even share some of my dreams. That's the intention anyway. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I know... Um, Maybe some of you have been following this channel for a while and you may remember that back in the day, the thing that actually really grew this channel and maybe even the way that a lot of you found me, found this channel is that I would have lots and lots of videos. Like I would post pretty much daily and they would be very, very minimally edited. Most of them would not be edited at all. It would just be literally me talking to the camera like this and there'll be no thumbnail. It would just be a random screenshot from the video the title would be very simple. It wouldn't be these like clickbaity titles. It would just be whatever it is, you know, hit my best lucid dreaming tip or don't, I guess it's kind of clickbaity if I say don't do this in a lucid dream. But whatever the case may be, it would be a, a very simple title. <clears throat> and I think that's definitely the direction I want to go with this channel. That's definitely what I want to do. It's more authentic. It's more it's easy. It's a lot easier. Um, to make it's more genuine and I want to try and separate us as an audience like us the the lucid dream team I don't know maybe we should come up with a name for ourselves I don't know but I want to separate us from the kind of attention deficit group on places like TikTok maybe even some parts of discord and reddit to where they're just very sensationalist very like clickbait, extreme exaggeration, you know, giant hits of dopamine. It's all very exaggerated and very fast paced. I want to separate us from that and build here an audience of conscious dreamers, people who are conscious and present and aware and people who can actually sit down and put their attention into something and not just get distracted every two seconds. And that way we keep the you know, the TikTok stuff on TikTok, and we build an audience here, me and you, where we can actually put our attention into stuff. And the benefit of that is that over time, it will attract people who can, and you know, people who do have an attention span, who are better suited to lucid dreaming. And to those people, to you, hopefully you, watching, I can actually share my advanced lucid dreaming stuff. The stuff that I really like sharing, that over the years, I haven't really shared that much because this channel has been, you know, it's easier to, the algorithm has made it very appealing to just make broad content appealing to anyone. And while that's good, it doesn't let me share my, my advanced stuff, like the really interesting, profound lucid dreaming stuff that I really do love uh, experiencing and talking about. Anyway, that's it for now.